I'm Brennan from Waffles Community Robotics, and in this video we're going to talk about start and wait blocks. They are found in the orange palette, or the flow control palette, uh, start and wait. As you can see, one of the start blocks is already in here. Uh, that's because everything needs to be hooked up into a start block, otherwise it won't run. And you can tell it won't run if it's faded out, as you can see. And when you actually plug it in, it's not faded out. So one of the main features, aside from running the entire program, is you can put in two or more uh, start blocks to run multiple things at the same time. So we're going to show you this by plopping some motors out to make it drive straight, but we're not using the steering block. So that means that obviously they have to be running at the same time if it's driving straight. If it wasn't, it would turn one way and then turn another way. Um, so we have a basic EV3 kit put together and the two ports are A and D so we're going to change that A and D and let's make it go for a bit of a distance say three rotations on both of them. So that looks pretty good. Uh, let's go down to our download button and the downloads really quick as you can see and done. Uh, let's take a look at what it does. So as you can see, both of the blocks ran at the same time because it drove straight. The other uh, interesting thing that these blocks do is if you press the play button, it'll run the specific line of code. So you can see that's the progress bar. So depending on where the progress bar is along your code, you can tell which block is specifically running. So when that progress bar is running, it's making the port port A move at 50, uh, power level 50 for three rotations and then breaking at the end. It's important to note that when you press the play button, it does not run this part of the, the uh, program. If you want that part to run, you have to press the play button down here. And it does the same thing. Uh, this is useful for debugging because you can tell where the um, program is currently uh, being ran at. So say you're getting stuck or say you're not sure where your program's messing up, you can look physically when your, when your uh, robot, say, makes a wrong turn and you can see where the uh, culprit, I guess, of a block is that you want to change up. Uh, now let's move on to the weight block. Get rid of the extra stuff. Back to the orange palette and plop the weight block down. So the weight block starts as a timer, as in seconds, so you can change it to whatever, four seconds or whatever. And a whole bunch of settings. So every input to the brick pretty much has a uh, weight block. I'm not going to get into the details of each individual sensor. Uh, those are going to be uh, further production later on when um, we look at a specific sensor. So we're going to go through all these uh, specifically and all the blocks that apply to them. But what I do want to point out is every single block has e either compare or change. So compare is looking at a set value. So say you are waiting for it to be pressed um, for a touch sensor. You're waiting for it to be pressed, and when it's pressed, then you move on. That's what the wait does. The change, however, is waiting for a specific change. So, um, it's not super useful for a touch sensor, I suppose, but it's a touch sensor example would be change of state. So, say it's pressed, and you're waiting for a change, which the only other change could possibly be is unpressed but you could use that for say a rotation sensor so you're waiting for a change of say 10 degrees um, it could be push forwards or backwards 10 degrees and then you would move on so that's kind of the weight block for now as I said we'll look at everything else in detail later on when we actually have a when we use a sensor um, video have a sensor video uh, for each applicable block and its uses uh, be sure to check out our other videos and make sure that 
if you weren't sure about the uh, motors that we used earlier or where the download uh, button was, look at our previous videos.